Good morning, beautiful people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my little ASMR cooking portion in the beginning. My camera battery died literally at the end when I was plating, so that's why there's a phone clip in there, and that's why I'm recording on my phone now. I actually need to find my charger, because I don't know where it's at, but anyways, I was gonna make it do what it do, and finish showing you guys the final product. And I got half of a grapefruit as well. And I'm gonna be yeah, honest yeah. with you guys, I am doing what I eat in a day, but just recently, yeah. I am pushing myself to start eating breakfast because <gasps> I don't really eat breakfast in the morning, but when I do, this is a valid representation, that word is kind of hard for me, um, of what I would eat in the morning for breakfast. These grapefruits, man, look perfect. You guys like grapefruits? I remember at one time, like when I first started to try eating healthy, I thought grapefruits were so disgusting. I hated them, but I, I don't know why I kept forcing myself to eat it, and now I just love grapefruits they're so good some people put sugar on their grapefruits but that defeats the purpose of it being healthy i've never tried grapefruit with sugar on it and you can't forget the water tall glass of water with every single meal so i'm gonna taste test this on camera for y'all and then i'm gonna finish eating my breakfast because i got somebody over there making music interrupting my video So good. If you guys don't like your eggs like this, fry them all the way <gasps> if you don't want the yolk like that, but <gasps> you guys have to try this sandwich. The avocado and that tomato and spinach thing that I saute on the stove, this shit just hit different. And turkey bacon all the way. I don't really fucks with the normal bacon, it hurts my stomach. You guys, it was so delicious. Look at that clean plate. Make that for breakfast and let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even gotta let me know because yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, it's great. Yeah. What's up? So it is about, it's 1.46. I'm not too, too hungry for lunch, like to have like, I feel like a full lunch right now. So I think I'm gonna do something little, maybe like a yogurt parfait or something like that. Of course, I'm gonna let y'all know exactly what it is, but I'm thinking about it first. In the meantime, right now, I've just had literally about like, four of these chips i'm gonna eat a little bit more but not too much these are actually really good they're called popcorners i got the sour cream and onion kind i don't know i've seen them at Publix and i wanted to try them but they're pretty good so yeah i'm over here debating on what to have for my lunch and i'll be right back with you guys to show you what i end up doing Okay, you guys, so I figured out what I'm going to be eating. I am going to be eating a little yogurt parfait. I know it's not probably somebody's typical thing to eat for lunch, but like I said, I'm not too hungry, so I don't want to force myself to eat a whole entire meal for, for no reason. I'm just listening to my body, and I still am going to eat something, but just a little something. What I have here is this little already portioned out yogurt it is greek yogurt this flavor is coconut and it has two grams of sugar 80 calories 12 grams of protein and three grams of carbs normally my go-to for yogurt when i do yogurt parfait is this non-dairy yogurt but they didn't have it when i went to the store so this is my next best option now i do pay really close attention to labels on certain things like because i don't want to eat a yogurt and it have like 30 grams of sugar because to me that's not worth it like i'd rather eat a piece of cake you know what i'm saying so i feel like this has really good calorie content carbs and sugars i'm very content with it so that's why i decided to choose this one and they are really good they have a whole bunch of different flavors and my refrigerator right now i have a strawberry a mixed berry this coconut one a vanilla one and then i have like a big tub of the normal vanilla one so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna add some raspberries in there some blueberries and a little bit of chia seeds. And normally too, I do like to add a little bit of granola, but I don't have granola today, which is kind of sad, but I'm still gonna make it do what it do. I'm gonna eat my little, my little parfait. And these blueberries, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are pretty big. So I am going to chop these a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just chop my raspberries too because they are pretty big and this thing's little. So I want everything to fit nice and neat. So my parfait is 
done. I don't want to flip it over too much because I don't want it to fall. So I cut up the blueberries, like I said, and the raspberries and added a little bit of chia seeds on top. It's not going to look pretty anymore. I'm going to mix it all. This coconut yogurt is so good. This one is probably my favorite flavor out of all of them, the coconut and the vanilla. I don't know what it is about Publix, or I don't know if you guys have Publix wherever you guys live at, but Publix has the best fruit. Like, it's just so fresh all the time. I cannot stand soggy blueberries. I would not eat soggy blueberries or soggy fruit in general, like soggy grapes, soggy raspberries, blackberries. Like, I just think it's so disgusting. So I love for my fruit to be fresh and crisp. So I'm really enjoying this right now because my blueberries are good. The raspberries are hitting too. Mm, 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 mm. And I'll see y'all later. It's dinner time, dinner time, dinner time. This is a simple go-to recipe of mine. And it's delicious still because she know how to season and she know how to cook correctly because you can still fuck this recipe up don't get it fucked up even though it's simple not everybody is blessed with hands like mine to cook in the kitchen but that's besides the point to add into my what i eat in a day i'm gonna have just a little glass of some moscato you know she feeling grown and i just want to have a little bit of moscato now don't clown me i don't got wine cups but it get the job done you know what i'm saying this is good cheers Back on topic to what we are cooking today. I have some boneless chicken cutlets. Just gonna season it real nice, grill it up. I have some green beans. I'm gonna saute the green beans. I don't like to boil green beans. I feel like those are like just bland and super soggy. I like mine still with a little bit of crunch to it, but still cooked, you know what I'm saying? I like to do my green beans with onion. Whenever I have these inside of my fridge, I like to throw them in there as well. Just cause when tomatoes get cooked down, they just add so much flavor last but not least i'm gonna be cooking a little bit of some jasmine rice so we got grilled chicken green beans and some jasmine rice tonight for dinner you guys look at this and as y'all know i love some spicy so i have my raw jalapenos and i also grilled this one up a little bit avocado my jasmine rice, the green beans with the tomatoes, and my grilled chicken. This looks so good. 